हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम एट सुधीर आई कोच अ चैनल फॉर बडिंग एंड इमर्जिंग ऑफ थर्मोलॉजिस्ट टू बिकम एन अकम्पलिस्ड फेको कैटरक सर्जन इट्स एसेंशियल टू हैव अ नॉलेज ऑफ अदर मोडालिटीज ऑफ कैटरक सर्जरीज एज वेल इन दिस रिकॉर्ड टुडे आई एल बी शो केसिंग अ केस ऑफ अ स्मॉल इंसिडन कैटरक सर्जरी द पेशेंट वॉज नाइन्टी ईयर्स ओल्ड मेल एंड को इंसिडेंटली टूडे वॉज ऑल्सो हिज बर्थडे ही वॉज नॉट वेरी कोऑपरेटिव एंड ही वॉज हैविंग Uh, a kind of uh, breathing problem the patient had a black and hard uh, nucleus and to make the matters more challenging the pupil was also not very well dilated i don't consider myself a hero for performing feco in such as challenging cases like this my primary goal is to ensure proper visual rehabilitation after cataract surgery while minimizing the physical discomfort and complications uh, during surgery for the patient it is always advisable to plan the case thoroughly uh, before starting the surgery beginning with feco and then having to convert midway is often more challenging than opting for sics directly for to start from the start that was the goal i had in mind uh, for the day to prioritize the patient's well being by opting for the most suitable approach ensuring a smooth surgery and optimal visual rehabilitation I performed a large capsular access after creating two side port incisions to allow for better manipulation during the procedure. Next I proceeded with the main scleral incision tunnel incision to facilitate the removal of uh, the nucleus the large black nucleus. I am not uh, particularly confident with the SIC as a small incision cataract surgery I primarily consider myself as a feco surgeon so generally I feel more comfortable Uh, performing a larger scleral tunnel incision some surgeons excel at uh, performing small incision cataract surgery and effectively breaking the nucleus within the antechamber in such cases a larger incision is often unnecessary using 15 number blade i created the first cut of uh, scleral tunnel incision Next I used the crescent knife uh, to perform the section in the scleral and adjacent tissues. The patient was uncomfortable during surgery and breathing heavily. The anesthetist was actively working to make him more comfortable. Despite the patient's uh, discomfort and he was not cooperating, I continued to concentrate on my steps in performing the SIS. So I created a decent size scleral tunnel incision to facilitate the the nucleus delivery and the next steps next procedure using the keratome i entered the antechamber and completed the full thickness scleral tunnel incision at the 90 years of age the corneal endothelium and the cornea itself are often weakened therefore extra care is required to protect the corneal endothelium during the procedure After creating the capsular excess I already made a relaxing incision particularly in the areas of tunnel incision because the nucleus is quite big and it's very difficult to remove the uh, to bring out the nucleus uh, uh, from the existing capsular excess so I carefully mobilized the nucleus to free it from the capsular bag additions this step is very very important and it's uh, it is crucial not to rush be cautious and calm and gently use various instruments to free the nucleus from the bag carefully bring it out in the anti chamber anti chamber uh, out from the bag uh, taking care to protect the endothelium i gently press the tunnel incision to create a gap using visco expression technique the nucleus is then expelled uh, from the eye now at this time now you have to be cautious and careful that uh, just as assess the integrity of the posterior capsule and now i proceeded with the removal of cortical matter here i used the bss with the uh, curved cannula to flush along with the parallel to the posterior capsule just remove the cells present on the posterior capsule the capsular bag was fairly clean and minimal cortical matter was uh, there and uh, everything is fine and fit so now i decided to implant the lens with the capsular access intact and with careful handling you can uh, implant the lens in the bag allowing uh, for insertion of any type of uh, implant 
In this case, I implanted a single piece monofocal eye. If you are not confident about the placing the lens in the back, it's advisable to use multi piece eye well instead. Single piece lenses are thicker and placing their haptics in the sulcus area is generally not recommended. So here I successfully implanted the lens and I was pretty sure that lens is still in the back. Now it's now time for uh, visco uh, removal. This should be done thoroughly to ensure no residual viscoelastic material remains in the antechamber as it can lead to post-operative pressure issues and other uh, complications. At this stage you can also check the lens the placement and remove any remaining cortical matter in the equatorial area area at this point we need to decide uh, what to do with the scleral tunnel incision whether to close it uh, with sutures or leave it open given the larger size of my incisions i always feel more secure and comfortable using a horseshoe suture for closure if you are comfortable with radial incisions you can opt to place one two or three even three radial incision incisions for closure so here in this case uh, i used a horseshoe suture and i always ensure to bury the knot it is very very crucial and important to make the post patient comfortable in the post op period any exposed sutures and knots are can cause significant irritation to the patients and also act as a potential source of infection so just to think if we had started with the phaco surgery in this case given the patient discomfort and advanced age weakened cornea and hard nucleus it would have been challenging to achieve a nice cataract surgery end of the day our primary aim is to provide effective visual rehabilitation it's not about being a hero for performing phaco in such a complicated uh, cases but rather ensuring the best possible outcome for the patient after completing this case uh, we celebrated with the great enthusiasm the patient was very happy and we extended our best wishes for his uh, 90th birthday the entire team including the anesthetist were uh, extremely pleased with the outcome never leave the incision line exposed always cover it with the conjunctiva this respects the physiological condition of the eye with the help and helps to ensure proper healing Finally, perform a thorough cleaning of the chamber to remove any remaining viscoelastic material and cortical matter, and flush out the whole of the conjunctival sac and the area of uh, the incision. Uh, my goal in sharing such kind of uh, videos is just to provide insights and uh, thought processes for the newer ophthalmologist, and I, I hope these examples will definitely uh, leave some impressions in the memories. and they have some lessons for their uh, future practice and they can whenever they face such kind of prop, uh, uh, cases they can implement uh, these experiences for the future better course of their life please feel free to comment and i would be very grateful to address any questions and feedback and uh, thanks for watching